Hello! Welcome to another episode of Task Tips. Today we're going to be talking about having a plan and a mindset going into a game that you're going to play. First and foremost, what you want to do is make sure that you understand what you are as a gamer. What I mean by that is, what sort of a mindset do you have? How are you going to approach the game that you're about to play? Are you an offensive type person? Are you defensive? Do you like playing one way versus another? You're going to be able to best play and maximize your potential in a game if you understand a little bit about yourself and have a bit of a strategy going in to what you're going to be playing. This is a bit more of an abstract topic, so I'm trying to give you a few abstract and qualitative type examples and not so much uh, game-specific examples like I've done in previous videos, such as things like if you're playing a RPG, okay? Uh, generally speaking, in RPGs, you can go about your character creation in multiple ways. Uh, certain games allow you to be a warrior, or a mage, or a ranger. Games such as Sunny, or Hands of War, or Talesworth Arena allow you multiple different classes that you can choose. Now, if you understand a bit about yourself, you'll know what class will work best for you. Whether you're the brute uh, strength over lots of health, just kind of uh, hack and slash your way through things, or whether you're the methodical wizard hanging back, uh, shooting and killing from afar using a bit more strategy. If you choose the wrong one, you won't have as fulfilling of a gaming experience, you likely will have a lot more trouble succeeding in the game that you were playing. Another little bit different example of this would be in tower defense games. Uh, if you know, understand yourself in the best strategy for you on to how to build either your maze or your structures along the pre-designed route. Whether you use lots of small towers and micromanage, whether juggling is most appropriate for you in terms of micromanagement, whether you like a couple of large powerful towers that you continue to upgrade until they're at a maximum and then start over, whereby you have uh, little micromanagement. Certain factors like that will play heavily into your gaming experience. Definitely the game itself will dictate some aspects of this, but many games, uh, top games generally speaking, will allow you to play the game f to completion through multiple pathways. In these examples, it's best to choose the one that is best suited for you. In shooting games, either first person, third person, top down, whatever type of shooting game, there are lots of different strategies that you can have going into these games. Again, it's best if you understand yourself. Are you an offensive person? Do you like to just run through your shooters as fast as you can and get to the end, like it sometimes is, is works well in Thing Thing games? Uh, is it, are you a defensive person? Do you like to stock up on shields so you can hang back and methodically explore and slowly kill off guys one by one? Are you the sniper type? Again, hanging back, killing one by one, but a different strategy from that defensive tank. There are lots of different ways that you can build your character and go through a shooter. You have to decide what's best for you. Also, what's best to spend your cash on? A lot of times shooting games will have upgrades in between levels. Do you want to go, again, offensive route, defensive route, the specials route, for the bonuses route, extra cash, extra lives? There are many different ways that you can go. If you understand the build that you want to have for your character or your ship or whoever it is ahead of time, you will be able to plan accordingly throughout your game experience. You will have a much easier time of beating the game. Lastly, another genre that I can discuss with this are card games. It follows a similar thing, a similar mantra that I've been given to you throughout this video already. Uh, in card games, you can build decks usually. Are you going to build an offensive deck? Are you going to build a magic deck? Are you going to build a defensive deck? Are you going to build the white deck from Magic the Gathering, where you just wear down your opponent until they have no cards left? There are many different ways, especially in card games, that you can build and be successful. You need to know what is best for you and make sure that you plan accordingly. I really can't stress that enough. And of course, because all of us are, you know, game whores and badge addicts and achievement uh, unlockers. We want to have every single badge that is given to us in a game. 
oftentimes going for specific badges will lead to a force strategy. You have to understand that, you have to accept that and be willing to adapt to the strategy that is needed to achieve that badge if you want to be successful with it. So it's not always just understanding yourself, sometimes it's understanding the goal that you are trying to achieve and planning accordingly for that. I guess the real thing of this video is to plan accordingly. That's our buzzwords for this tip, huh? Basically, in the end, to achieve all of these, know yourself, plan ahead. And that's about it. I hope this helped you guys. This is Task Tips, Episode 3. Oh yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Task Tips guides, for video walkthroughs, tutorials, anything else I should happen to post on there. Make sure to post comments so that you let me know how much you love or hate this video and my beautiful and ugly face. And let me know what your suggestions are for future videos. I am definitely running out of ideas for this gaming series. I have four or five more, but after that, I need your help. So, please, post comments, rate the video, subscribe to my channel. I will love you eternally.